This is how you're going to turn in your final for this change meme assignment. If you notice, I have Photoshop open back here. I'm going to reduce this window just slightly so that I can see the desktop over here. Holding the Command key down and tapping the Tab key will bring me back to Google Chrome. If you notice when you do that, you might not have noticed that because it was subtle. Command Tab, I can actually move like this, or I can continue to tap the Tab key to get to the various applications that are open. So I want to see a little bit of the desktop here. Remember to keep the desktop clean to delete your files after you upload them to Google Drive. Clicked on Google Drive, 7th grade, MMD, your student name. This is the change folder, and these are all the files that you've been saving for this assignment. You may have done more than one meme in this case. So I'm going to take this one right here. In order to get it to the desktop, I'm going to hold the control key down and click on it and select download. Remember to remove your finger from the control key before clicking download, otherwise you get this other menu. I'm going to click this up arrow right here and select show in finder. My downloads folder is empty. I'm going to click and drag this over to the desktop so that I can see it over here and close this window. Since this is a Photoshop file, I can double click on it, but instead, just to make sure, I like to click on Photoshop or again Alt Tab from Google Chrome to Photoshop and select File Open. If you're having trouble getting your files into Photoshop, this is one quick way to do it. Click on Desktop and double click here. I've done a few more things to this file than you probably have on yours. We'll deal with some of these in our multimedia design class, not necessarily in the other classes because we're just doing basic memes in the other classes. But I've got multiple layers in here, including a little pun here because on the left hand side I've got these fish. There's a really large one here swallowing a smaller one or about to eat a smaller one, about to eat a smaller one. So I've already saved this file because it's right here and it's labeled PSD. I'm going to do File Save As. I'm going to leave all of this the same except on yours this should say your first initial and last name and whatever period you have me this semester. I'm going to go down here to Format and select, oh, let me cancel that. I forgot that it was a different layout form to get this blue color, so I'm going to fix this real quick. And actually, I just noticed something else on here, too. I can see this line right here in the middle of his head, so I need to add just a little bit to here with the eraser. To eliminate that line because I don't want that line in the middle of his forehead. That's actually the edge of this picture. Once again I'm going to save it. Now this is a different file type so I have to convert it back to an RGB so I'm going to go to image mode RGB. None of you should have to do this because you didn't do the step to make this a monochromatic photo. In this case I'm not going to merge it so that you can keep all of the layers. And then I'm going to save it again, Command S. And I'm going to do File, Save As, and select JPEG, J-P-E-G. You'll notice it changes up here automatically when I do this. Please don't just save this with and change the JPG up here and leave it as Photoshop down here. That'll totally mess up the computer, or not the computer, but your file. So I'm going to save it again, and another one's going to appear right over here. This is the JPEG, and this is the Photoshop file. I'm going to quit Photoshop. I'm going to upload these back into this Google Drive. In 
then if you notice it says version 2 here, I'm just going to click on it to see what it looks like to make sure everything's fine on it. And then I'm going to click keep as separate file. Notice how it added the little parenthesis on here. I'm currently in icon view, but I want to be able to see the names of these three files. So I'm going to click these three dots and select, oh, excuse me, I'm going to click this icon here to go into list view to see what these three documents are called. Here's the one that's called, it's got that parentheses and a one in it. I'm going to hold the control key down and rename it. Take this off and just add the letter A and PSD. Now when I go back to my Google Classroom, I'm going to open up this assignment. There's currently nothing in here, but I'll add the video later so you'll see a video up here. I'm going to select Add, this time from Google Drive because I've got it in the Google Drive. I could also do it from the file and then just drag these in. But if you've already saved them and deleted from the desktop, click on Google Drive and Recent. And I'm going to go ahead and click the list view again because these three look exactly the same name-wise. I want this one and this one. In order to skip this one here in the middle, oops, well, it uploaded it anyway, but I was going to say, if you hold the command key down, you, you can select things that are non-contiguous or not all in a row. So I've added the files here. I'm going to click Turn In. Click Turn In again. And then please remember to do this. After you're sure that you've got the files in your Google Drive and you've turned them into Google Classroom, select both of these and delete them. Put them in the trash by holding the Command key down and tapping the Delete key on your keyboard. And then you can go over here to the trash and click Empty Trash. We want to try and keep the desktop as clean as possible, meaning not a lot of stuff on it. We also want to make sure that the Downloads folder is empty. So I clicked over here in this blue area, holding the Command key down and tapping the letter N, as in Nancy, or New. I'm going to click on my Downloads folder and notice that there's nothing in here. If there's a bunch of stuff in here, just select it all and hold the Command key down and hit the Delete key to put them in the trash can and then empty the trash. And then, of course, the last thing I'm going to do is sign out. That's how you're going to turn in this assignment and any other assignments into Google Classroom from Google Drive.